here as I prepare in the early morning to enter this first town uh, on this day, Ruinas del Convento de San Anton, uh, 15th century. So go back 500 years. Imagine the wealthy ladies who, for whatever the reason, spinsters, whatever, now reside here as a form of social suicide. And see on that wall there, those two, one above the other, uh, cutouts, if you will. Was there stained glass in there? It looks like there could be something still now. Yes, maybe down below, look at that, yeah. But what was behind those little windows? Certainly I would think darkness in all those forms. I may not get a better view of the remains of the insides, but these were high arched walls, no doubt with stained glass. See the arches there probably had murals painted on them. Here a crest. Here what would appear to be a very august entry. Were there huge doors here? Or did this just do what anything Catholic is supposed to do and that is awe the bejesus out of you? And this filled in entry, certainly the entry of a church as we've seen them. This all enclosed. Do these archways represent what might have been or just a faux attempt to disguise what it once was? But how many of the ladies would have washed out their lives in reverence for the stained glass images that were in these windows. This size and strength, battlement and nature of these walls suggests the life they lived. It's not hard to imagine that in its day five centuries ago, this was a pretty impressive monument structure in the midst of what would have been a somewhat primitive agricultural environment, not at all as well developed as we see now. And how pretty would that stained glass have been? Did that bell, is that what brought the women in from the fields they may have tended for their rituals and meals? So tell me, are we in Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Eastern Washington, or Northern Spain. Looking way back from whence we came this morning, somewhere out there, the convent of San Anton. I'll pan around, give us a sense of this Idaho landscape with the windmill poking over that hill. It's very pretty in its own way. The people that pass this up because they've listened to others talk about the boredom miss something. Now this town just is filled with its religious monuments of considerable stature, starting with the one on the hill, of course. There's a third one poking up over there. <clears throat> this has all the look to me of a convent or a school. Now we're swinging around to the south and looking back with more windmills from whence we came. A closer look at these two. And 
that will swing up the hill from the lazy person's church to those who really paid their dues by hiking up there, which I don't intend to do. I'm guessing that this church directly ahead of us is Santa Maria del Manzano, and the one on the hill is Santa Clara. Here's another church I pass on the way out of Castro Giris. But what was of more interest to me was this structural detail. These are metal prongs that stick out that are apparently designed to hold uh, heavy plaster, heavy thick plaster. I don't think they were designed to hold stone, but they may well have been able to do that also. Here we walk on a rather narrow pathway, what it once was, an aqueduct or whatever, I don't know. But there's a hill we're going to be going up. There's also a horde of people here that's just started outside this town. I guess it's a tour bus dropping people off for quote unquote their experience. And now that we're on top, guess what? We go back down. Off in that direction, way off in that direction. We can probably see the road I'll travel later today. Who labored these fields most of his life, buried here in this simple grave. Here a pretty river flows under a beautiful bridge. I wonder if this pretty river pretty river right here could be floated and whether it would be worth it. Well, that would be a lovely float, wouldn't it? Through this land. Ha! Huh. Having crossed the bridge, we are now in the Provincia de Palencia. This little town, I don't know what its name is yet. Another abandoned church, but from the looks of some of the newer tops of the gravestones, the cemetery is still maintained. Here approaching 